All right, so you see the... Um... Okay, so the crevice leads 20 feet into the hillside before opening up into a cavern. Many trickles of water combine into a pleasant sound, and the walls glisten with moisture. Stalactites dot the floor, and stalactites hang from the ceiling. And I need to move you guys over. So let me switch you to this map. And right now, I'm assuming you're using regular light on your... Um... Yes. Thingy. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to make a a spell error. If we do a, to do a spell attack, um, like if you click and drag the spell over, um, it doesn't have a. It, it's not in the compendium yet. Um, okay. Um, here I will bring it up real quick. All right. So Orion spells new night. Nice. Night night. All right. We'll do this then. Oop, delete that one. So if you open it up, the gear, um, there's an output, and there's spell card, and then uh, attack. So yeah, just switch those. Uh, it can be a little iffy sometimes if it's both, but you'll figure it out. And I'm familiar with Ice yeah. Knife. It is from the, it's from this adventure's book, UA. so I know about it's it. It's from yeah, because it's elemental evil stuff. It yeah. is an elemental evil spell. I'm, aware, I'm I'm familiar with it. I didn't know it was a druid spell, but that's good to know. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. So it's all you guys. I want to make sure there's not a trap or anything. Okay. Fishing in front of us. Okay. It, Don't look at that. You intimidated it. All right. You hear maybe a whimper as he investigates, um, but yeah, it seems to be pretty clear. I heard a whimper. Yeah, because your intimidation was an eight. Oh. Oh, I understand. Okay. <laughs> Take a good step forward. Right. I'm gonna I'm check something. Check. I'm gonna try the spell attack now. Yeah, no, it needs more. Yeah, it needs the it needs attack rolls. There you go. Yeah. All right. So yeah, you can see some. So yeah, you can see. You can see into the cavern. There's stalagmites, stalactites, a lot of moisture. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, do I hear anything outside of just dripping water? Or any here? How about this? Any more boot prints that I can tell of? Any mud? Um. Well, you have running water and buzzing. Buzzing? Like if I look up, are there bugs above me? Well, you can probably see them on the screen. <laughs> oh yeah, I see that now. Oh, so that's something we're very familiar with. Yeah. All right. Let me. Out of yeah. care. Yeah. All right. I, I, I cast Shatter. <laughs> Don't know where I got it from, but I cast it. Oh, wow. Out of all the character sheets, I forgot this one. So I'll go grab Sturges. By the way, there's Sturges. Do, the do I get an attack of opportunity? No, not yet. Okay. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, that's what I did. Okay, I see what I did. Well, I probably threw a Sturge in, like, the Void, but that's fine. Okay, and then Sturges. You appreciate it. They go on seven. Buzz, buzz. All right, well, um, Oren, you go first. This right. chamber is... What is that? Uh, 20 feet into the hillside, opens to a cavern. Well, I'm going to make. Go ahead, make your attack. A... Did you roll? Well, I just come back on the wand. I'm using. Oh, right. I need to do the wand after this. I'm going to attempt with a quarter staff. With yeah, just roll one d six plus one after this. And I'll update it. All right, it misses, and go ahead and do your charges. Three. So you got back all of them, I believe. Yes. All right. Good stuff. All right, goes to uh, Zuran. 
Buzz Buzz. Zeron, your view is like a flashlight. That's what it looks like coming into this freaking cavern. <laughs> Look at that. Let me let me move the turn order thing. All right, so I'm I'm gonna hit the one that's okay. here. You blast it and it explodes. As you do, like. And then I'm gonna forcefully put uh, Biv in front of me. <laughs> yeah, okay. Biv, it's your turn. <laughs> oh, all right. I'm gonna move over and try to stab the one over her. Okay. And uh, stab all it. Right, go ahead and stab. That is a miss. You can use your miss. bonus action swing, though. And that's a hit, and it splats. Okay. Goes to Sturgis. Buzz, buzz. Uh, you can go ahead and make your attack opportunity. Or, sorry, your reaction attack. And it misses. And there we go. All right, one for each of you. So I'll do Blood Drain on Orin first. Misses, and then for Biv Burn, hits for five, and it's now attached to you. Okay, goes to Oren. All right, I will. I'll make another okay. attack. I'll make a, another swing at a different sturdy, actually, because the one I was attacking yep. originally is dead. And a big splat. Uh, that is a miss. Yeah. All right, goes to... Hard yeah, to hit. Sorry, and it goes to you. One's not attached, one is attached. That one's right. not attached, right? Okay. All right. You shoot like a stalagmite or stalactite. Are you trying you try to lucky nope, it? My luck, <laughs> my luck doesn't help me Well, either. actually, okay. it might have. Uh, that's eight plus six. Right? Yeah, you have plus six to your attack, right? So yes. that brings up to 14, which is actually a hit. And your luck points come back every re long rest, right? Yes, so I'm back down to two again because yep. I used one. And it one. explodes. All right. Uh, Biv Burton, that one is attached to you. You can spend an action to remove it. I'm going to take a five-foot step into the room as well. I'm going to try to... Remove it. Is that a no? It's just check? it's just it uses up your action. Uh, you have been playing uh, Rage, my yeah. Pathfinder. I'll I'll remove okay. it. Well, it goes to Sturge's turn. Sturge will try to attack again. Misses. All right, Oren, this is your chance. All right. <laughs> this, this is, is your time. time. time <laughs> it now. is that is the time as you crush it. The future is now, old man. <laughs> All right, not bad. Lots of uh, bloody insects are now dead around the uh, chamber. So, did he say where that treasure was? Yeah, this the trickle cave, which is what we're in. Hmm. I'm assuming, As right? They, with the I mean, water, you heard what he said. Is there anything in the cave with us? Uh, you can do investigations. Very consistent with my investigations. <laughs> well, it's the same bonus. All right. Um, so you guys start searching through the cavern. Um, I guess I can start. I can help search, too. Yeah. Orange just takes a nap. All right. So you guys start searching through the cavern. Um, spend a few minutes looking around, checking the walls, doing the inventory type stuff. Doesn't really seem to be anything in here besides a bunch of dead insects now. What about the boot prints? Uh, there's a lot of boot prints, including your own. <laughs> um, but nothing really... Like, it, it comes into the chamber, and then it just kind of goes back out. I guess we follow all the boots out. Uh, if I trace their steps, do I notice anything along the... Like, Not really, path. and I mean, eventually the 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 path will become much much less muddy, and your 
you pretty much just lose the trail eventually. As it just goes back to the main road. I mean, didn't we see the group coming out? Of the yeah, they're, as well? they both come in and out. Uh, boot print sized uh, boots or prints. All right. Well, yeah, we looked. Seems like someone got here before us. Oh, it's Mucky. I guess we. Um, I guess we shall leave then. All right. I'm gonna shift it where Viv's going out. <laughs> no worries. All right. So you guys filter out, and I'll go ahead and switch to the the other map. Do you guys wish to head back? Well. What, what, how late into the day is uh, it? It's about, you've spent about ten hours out here. Well, probably about nine hours, give or take. So could so could we set up a camp in the cave and rest uh, until the morning? Can, yes, and then head to the omen. You certainly could rest in here. You certainly could. Yes, I'm down. I mean, it's it's one way in and out. We have a you know. I cast spare. as we set camp. I cast good berry. And you. I throw crumb cakes on the bu on top of the berries that they spawn. You know, there's only, except I mean, I, I have to give them to you first. So no. <laughs> All right, one sec. Heal with these. It, you oh, know, you you taking a long rest. Like, yeah, them. but good berries are less filling, and you know. Yeah, but they actually taste good compared to crumb cake. <laughs> but crumble cake is so filling. It's so I sturdy. Eat my crumb cake. <laughs> I'll eat berries. And poop. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a block shaped poop. <laughs> it went in the same it came out the same. <laughs> it's completely undamaged. <laughs> Your body didn't even process. Yeah, it. it is immune to stomach acids. <laughs> alright, alright. So you guys camp. Uh take subtract your if you're eating the good berries, then you don't really need to worry about anything, but if you're eating the the, the crumble cakes or rations, just subtract them. Um you do get a full heal and all that stuff. Um you guys will set up yeah. watches, I'm assuming, which yeah. will cycle. And it's okay. I, uh, I sleep in the form of a giant weasel. <laughs> <laughs> For like an hour. So, so, one guard, so one of the people wakes up to start guarding. He's like, oh god, a giant weasel! And starts attacking it. It's okay, I just turn back into normal. One. <laughs> yeah, as you get knocked unconscious. No, no, because you go back to... Yeah, you, you go back to normal hit points. Alright. So, you guys rest. Uh, you see his Sunlight pouring through the um, little small cave opening, and uh, the chambers, it's all right to rest in, but it is a little, I guess, muggy, because there's the, the water flowing down the walls and stuff like that. Yeah, but we have a fresh source of water. Yep, lick those walls. Damn straight. <laughs> all night. Yeah, just ignore that one, that druid that can create water. <laughs> uh... Did you not get great water? Uh, and I don't have it because I don't think it's a ritual. So yeah, I don't have it. It's all good. All right. Well, you guys rest up. Um, and yeah, are you guys gonna head for the other X? Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, did those boots out lead to the main road? I can't. I can't even grab create water or no. I don't remember what the spell's at. I can grab. I can get create or destroy water. There you go. That's the one. What level is it? All right. Level person, one of us. I can grab that. What was your question, Hayden? The boots out just led to the main road. Yeah, for the most part, yeah. So at the very least, it leads out of the ravine, and after that, it kind of becomes harder and harder to track. Cool. Well, yeah. Let's just uh, we'll head to the next point. All right. The arrow skull. Okay. So you guys travel down. Pretty much just across the path, and then it's about one, two, three, four, yeah, about eight to ten miles travel. Um, and sure enough, there's a a weathered human skull, jaw sagging, is pinned to the trunk of a tree ahead, ahead by a black, big black arrow protruding from one of the skull's eye sockets. And yeah, so that's what you see as you approach. Human, interesting. Human skull or uh, it is, other. It is a human skull. 
has it been there a while? Is it like sun bleached or is it uh, like a fresh skull weekly kind of thing? <laughs> uh, you would need to do, I guess, a survival check. Or actually nature, I suppose. Well, either one. Whichever you feel like. It was weathered. Uh, I tricked you. You should have done survival. No, it's fine. Uh, so, so the 23. Um, it's pre it's, it is weathered. So it's probably been here for a while. Maybe not sun bleached, but it's been here. Um, but also looking at it, you also find a the big black arrow. Um, you see that there's some sort of black parchment around it, and with your nature check, you can actually recognize it as dyed human skin. Pleasant. It is. Pleasant. It is wrapped around the arrow just in front of the fletching. Does it, well, I take it off and see if I can open it then. All right. So you un, un uh, you pull it off, and it is it is a message written in common that says the last laugh. You'll be next, Vokladar. Do I know what Vokladar is? You can go ahead and do. Sounds like a dessert. No, I guess you can do a history check. You can safely say you have never heard of this man. Or I ask my compatriots if they know who Vokladar is. Uh, not off the top of my head. Uh, I mean, I can roll. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm not rolling. You can safely say, with your vast amount, vast limited knowledge of history, that you've never heard of the name Valk Lundar. Maybe it's a, a small fry yeah. trying to make it big. Was it? What did it say? The last laugh. You'll be next. I mean, that's not that scary. I'm going to try to remove the skull and arrow. All right. You remove the arrow and the... Let's see. Uh, yeah, so the arrow was... It is has black painted metal. It punched a hole through the back of the skull and sank deep into the tree. Um, so you can't really pull it out that well. But you can remove the skull. Well, at least it won't spook other people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Is there any paths or any trails from this area? Not really. Any tracks or anything lying around? Mm, just your own. Maybe we can ask that uh, person who told you about it if they know who this is. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's go get drunk. You gonna head back to Red Larch? Red Larch. Built some sturges. <laughs> found an arrow with a little human skin wrapped around it. Uh-huh. And then we head back. Alright, so you head back. It's... I mean, it's, I'm assuming you're going to push through the last few miles just to make sure you get back to town. Um, so it's a pretty exhausting journey back. But you do reach, get back to uh, the Red Larch. Um, safe and sound. Uh, so, yeah, since it's pretty late, so uh, you can go ahead and rest in a private room or a um, common area, whichever you prefer. Usual prices. I, I just sleep in the back with the horses. <laughs> you cheap bum. <laughs> no, I'll pay for a silver room. Five, right? Uh, yeah. That's the shadow. Or that's the shadow one run way of playing. Be a street samurai and have zero income for your life life expenses. <laughs> All right. So you guys rest. Uh, freaking uh, Orin, are you just doing a five silver room? I yeah. Guess. So the common area. All right. All right, 
and you guys wake up. Morning, fellow adventurers. Y'all have any weird dreams last night, guys? No. No, can't say that I did. No. Did you? Uh, just about a skull crushing me and then laughing. It was like, not like, ha ha ha, this is so much fun laughing, but like, creepy. Hmm. Eh, maybe it's because you didn't have... I mean, I played with the grave, with you. like, yesterday, and... It's been a few days since you played with the grave. <laughs> Human oh, skin. Great. I didn't touch the skin, thank you. Okay. I didn't well, even so know that skin. Someone touched human skin. Well, so can we go talk to that guy who told you about this? Because I don't want to have these dreams all the time. Yeah, well, let's yeah. head to uh, Bucklandar and if he can or not, <laughs> to, to, 20... to this unknown man. <laughs> I cast teleport. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, so you guys head back to Valavo Sundries. So one moment. All if right. the worst comes to worst, maybe we can go to the temple and have you cleansed. You mean set you on it. fire? Fuck <laughs> all right. So yeah, Indrith is uh, just working there. It's um, about midday right now since you guys slept in. Uh, what can I do for you? You guys are back, and I see you brought friends. Do you know who a Valklandar is? I can't say that I I know of the name. What's up? We went out and checked out your ill omen that you had mentioned. Right. And there was an, as you said, the arrow with the skull, or the skull with the arrow in it, and on parchment made of human skin, it said, the last laugh, you'll be next, Valklandar. Hmm. Well, so we were... Yeah, I've never heard of him, but I, I can try asking around, but around here, I doubt anyone here knows the name. Do you interpret dreams? Uh, I run a general store. I guess, Do you I guess, know I guess it's more of a pawn is? shop. What's up? What's up? Do you know who might be able to interpret dreams, or do you have anyone that pawned you maybe a book about it? Uh, not, I don't really know anything about dreams, nor anyone that's specifically, I guess, an expert on dreams. No, not really. All right, well, thank you. We'll, we'll, we'll ask around at the temple, maybe. To the temple. All right. So you guys start heading up the path here. I believe the temple is what, number... One? Is it number one? Yeah, it is. All face right. Okay. So you guys start heading up uh, towards the main crossroads uh, to the Keldell path and the Cairn Road and the Long Road. And you can see, you know, it's a ordinary afternoon around in Red Lurch, um, but all of a sudden you start feeling a tremor. And a second later... Um, you can see there are four small children and old cart. Um, oh, sorry, it's four small children and the old cart they've been playing uh, on slide down into a sinkhole that opens in the center of town. Um, they disappear uh, from they sight, disappear from shrieking for help. Um, a distraught woman runs out of a nearby house and sprints to the edge of the hole, which crumbles away, spilling her in as well. Most more people run from other homes, calls for a rope, a rope, and other people are saying, "Get a ladder, fill the air." I run and jump into the hole. All right, you jump into the <laughs> hole. <laughs> Did you actually jump in the hole? I mean, that's completely fine. No, no. Go look at the, at the edge of it. If it's deep enough, yeah. Or if it's not deep enough, okay. or if I could slide down the side, I'm jumping in the hole to slide down. All right. The so you go to you go to the edge of it. Go ahead and make a dexterity saving throw. I'm going in the hole if I want to or not. <laughs> you. So you get to the edge, and you can feel. The edge start giving out from under you. You 
manage to step back just in time before you start sinking down with uh, sinking down into the sinkhole. Um, looking at the from where you're at, the sinkhole goes down about thirty feet. Um, you can definitely clearly see the people that fell down. Uh, some kids are crying, and obviously the the woman that fell down there is you know screaming and screeching. Uh, from where you're at, they seem to be okay. Um, they are moving around and stuff. Um, it looks like whatever they landed on down there, the soft earth was actually pretty soft and cushioned their fall, thankfully. Uh, I'll whip out my rope. Yeah, and maybe. Same. I'll tie my rope off to uh, a building nearby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. There's not really any place you can put a spike around here, as you can tell from the, un the unstable ground. And then I'll repel him to the hole. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been, I would have been, I would have been giving you mad props that you just dived in. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to repel in Mission Impossible style where he just like jumps off the cliff with the rope. When I was just, oh, when I was reading the description, I was just like, I, when I saw the distraught Roman woman and runs out and I was like, I was expect, kind of expecting to continue be like people to run out to the edge and just keep falling like lemmings. <laughs> okay. So who's climbing down the hole? Yo, I am. Okay. Hey, but, uh, I mean, you guys can share a rope. It doesn't. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I know. I'm just. Well, I figure more rope to. But I'm gonna have to. Get, if I time. get close to the edge without using the rope, I'm gonna have to make a dex check anyway. So I guess I'll go. Down. All right. I'm gonna kind of. I'm not gonna go down immediately. I'm not gonna go full down immediately, but I'm kind of holding on, watching, seeing what's happening from the side. All right. From slightly safe side, holding onto the rope instead of looking down and falling in through the sinkhole. Okay, so there's um, I mean, as you guys are doing this, there's like more townsfolk uh, hurrying up to the all sides, trying to stay clear of the edge. Um, you can see some of the town elders, which pretty much the town elders are kind of just a variety of people, kind of like how you know the the freaking what's his name, the constable and stuff, is also like you know the guy that works at the butcher. So the the town elders tend to be you know. Kind of just top people of various professions. Um, uh, you can see the town. Um, well, in this case, two of you guys have already went down the hole, but the Oren, you can see the the elder kind of pulling some people away and you know saying things like "Leave it to us, and we will tend to this matter. Um, the children won't be harmed by being down there for a little while, but no one must go down there. Keep back." But obviously, as as they're doing this, they kind of notice the rope, and you know you're holding it, and they're like, "What are you doing?" We are jumping into action. <sighs> help to help. Well, get the children out then, I guess, since you're already down That's there. The plan. All right. So the, for the two people that are down there, uh, it's a dark chamber. Uh, it's about thirty feet below the level of the ground. It looks larger than the hole and extends into darkness on all sides. Well, darkness for some of you. A heap of loose uh, earth is piled in the middle. Um, the children who fell first in, in are sitting on the mound of earth, coughing into the dust and sobbing with fright. Um, and, you know, up above, parents are like, you know, being like, somebody do something and, you know, my boy and all that fun stuff. But uh, We're trying. How many, how many kids are down here? Uh, it was four small children and there is one adult female. And how... Deep is the hole. The the, full, the 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 sinkhole went down thirty feet, um, and then the chamber you're in. I'll go ahead and do, do, do. so with your f crazy vision. I'm gonna take a look real quick. Oh, and I'll use my handy dandy. Yeah, board. yeah. I know you're gonna have some. I I figure you would always have your light source. Oh my god, your freaking dark vision is so insane. <laughs> <laughs> I see it's all like, the things. Because I mean, I see, I see like the the, the fog as like a gray, not like a black, like you guys. But like, I put I put your token down. And it's just like the entire chamber illuminates <laughs> because I can see your vision. All right. So, so with um, you're just a basic light spell, um, Viv Burton. You can kind of see that the chamber is huge. Like it goes out in all directions and it kind of disappears. You can kind of make out some walls in some directions. In fact. Um, uh, do, 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 do. I guess I can do it like this. Uh, this. Uh, do, do, do. all right. This wide, irregularly shaped cavern has a floor of smooth bedrock. Well, besides the earth that you just landed in, um, damp earth and stone with tree roots protruding here and there make up the walls. 
A five foot wide tunnel leads off to the north, and a stone slab, a door with a rusty pull ring, stands to the east. Uh, by the stone door, uh, you see a couple of well used cloaks and a water scanner on the floor. So that's what you can see from where you're at, along with the children and stuff like that. And what can, what can I, I see? That's, I gave you the full description because, <laughs> because of you. Um, Biv, you probably wouldn't see the, 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 the path to the north. But everything else you can kind of make out vaguely. I go and calm the children down and see if any are capable and uh, you know able to climb the rope on their it's own. A, it's a. I'm gonna you, I mean, I've been in gym class and I can safely say it, it is physically impossible to climb a rope. <laughs> yeah, it, it, people do it all the time. I, damn it! I did not get anywhere on a freaking regular rope. Yeah, but you're not climbing I'm... up a rope in the middle of no, with no right. hold. Right, and you're side. on the side of the wall. You're repelling yeah, up, you're like, it, getting back up. It's physically I'll impossible, I, I, I'll I'll tell you. <laughs> I'll climb down so okay. that I'm not in the way if the kids can try and start climbing, but I'll stand below it. Okay, so you got, yeah, you guys will probably have to help them get up, because <laughs> I know in the military there's at least a wall for me to brace my feet on. <laughs> yeah. All right, yeah, well, I'm, I'm just, I'm making okay. sure the kids get up. All right, so you guys start helping to get the children out. Um. Uh, the lady is also going to need some help as well. <laughs> um, well, I figured one person would stay down there with the with the with those that weren't being helped out. One person would be moving people up and down the rope, and the other would be there to catch people that the person moving up and down the rope. Or would be there with the knife to cut the rope. <laughs> All right, so you guys, yeah, you guys pretty much work up a system, and you start getting the kids up, and as they kind of realize they're kind of. In the safe hands of some uh, some adventurers and stuff, um, they kind of had fun with it and are kind of like laughing, like we yeah, crazy ropes and falling in a pit, and we didn't get hurt. And that green guy looks funny, and that guy has a beard. <laughs> and they kind of just you guys get them out one at a time, and then help the um the the, the old lady up, old lady well, up. yeah, the adult uh, female up. Um, and the elders like, all right, well. Looks like uh, no one got harmed by this. Any, any idea what's in the hole? Uh, one moment. A lot of room. Uh, like, I don't, I don't think. So, are, is everyone back up? Did um, Biff Burton? Did everyone... Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I was helping children. No problem. All right, so all right, so everyone's out of the hole. Gotcha. Okay, so yeah, so you asked the question, and he's like, "I have no idea." But we should probably leave it alone for right now, because I don't want this hole to get any bigger. I'm going to take a lot of dirt to patch this up. Do you happen to know who Val Coland? I have Hollander? no idea who that is. I'm kind of busy with dealing with the giant hole in the center of our uh, town here. Look at that, Trey. I think I left something of mine down there. I climbed back down the hole. What? What do you? Uh, <laughs> I, I so you see, you that. see Zern just go, go "Oops!" <laughs> and go back down the hole. It's like a uh, he drops like a gold down there. Whoops! <laughs> I, I put I push Orin down there. Oops! I gotta go get him. <laughs> Oops! I gotta go get him. <laughs> I'm right, He's gonna home. need help carrying. It's that. okay. I won't I'm die. Be back. All right. All right. Just to clarify, Zern, what are you doing? <laughs> Back down to the hole. Look around. All there's right, there's more right. to this hole than just a hole. All right. And what are the rest of you guys doing? Oh, I'm following suit. I want to go that hole. Just face palm and I'm like, I'm sorry. And <laughs> just goes down. You're sorry. Good. <laughs> you hear lots of profanity and just like yelling. <laughs> I wake up. There's children present. <laughs> no, they're not. You pull them out. Get out of that goddamn hole. All right, we'll go ahead and switch you maps. Just assume that the cursing continues as long as you're visible. <laughs> All right, it is midday, so there is light coming down the um from the hole. You think elders have more respect for how they act? All right, so yeah, the brown uh the brown circle. I think you guys can see it. Nope, never mind. You don't see it. I'll put it visible. Uh, map layer. So yeah, that's the patch of earth. Okay. It's actually a bit bigger than that, but that's fine. Oh yeah, it is bigger than that. Should be about like 
that big, give or take. Dang, this is a big hole. Is it a big hole? Let's see. I'm reading the scale. I actually, I probably had it right originally. It'd be... So that's 555. Five, five. Yeah, actually, it was the original. I mean, the hole is bigger, but the, the patch is not. The, I'm assuming this is the door? That is the door. Since I can see everything. Yeah, you can see miles and miles. Ooh, right. there is a door. I'm going to walk over to the door and uh, and uh, investigate it a little bit further. Okay. Ooh, can I investigate the tanner? The tanner? What? Wait, wasn't there a cloak and something else? It was a cloak. It was a... Uh, other page. Uh, some well-used cloaks and a water skin. Oh, water skin. I don't want to play with the cloaks. Okay. Um, they're... They're plain cloaks, like very plain. No markings, no symbols. Nothing. I put one on. Okay. Definitely uh, covers you up pretty good. And makes you very non distinguishable. I open the door. Okay. Uh, so yeah, the door is. Do, 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 do. Yeah, it's it's practically a stone slab with a rusty pull ring on it. So yeah, this thing's a, it's a hefty door, uh, but you can't open it. So do you just open it? Yes. All right. I'll get that going then. Boop. Zoom in. Bloop. Okay. And up ahead, uh, it's with your crazy ass vision. Okay. So up ahead, uh, 60 feet beyond the stone door, the tunnels the tunnel levels out. Two stone uh, release of stern dwarves in chain mail and carrying battle axes face each other across the tunnel. The carvings stand out from the passage walls, and they have gaps around them, so they could be doors. Uh, the passage continues past them. So yeah, the little rectangle things um, that you see like here, those are the big stone statues that can that seem to gotcha. suck it as doors. Ooh. Is 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 it able to slip through the doors? Um, you can actually start pushing them open if you like. All right, I open the north door. All right. Uh, boop. All right. Also, with your crazy vision, let's see what I can get. Uh, yeah, one second. I'll. I need to see what you can see because your vision is insane. Okay, so with your crazy ass vision, uh, you can see at the long end of the long passage, like to the to the right, um, you can see a, another one of those slightly ajar stone doors with an iron pull ring on it. It's uh, about five feet up. Uh, sorry, uh, about five feet up on it. The door has two inch wide, foot long horizontal slits on it. And then, of course, you have the door that you just opened. Well, guys, there's a door at the end of the hall, or there's a door we can go through here. Why not both? Then I proceed up the northern hallway. Okay. Sounds good. I'm trying to mess with my sound settings, and yes, I will follow. All right. Wow, you would just, like... Darted ahead. <laughs> He's so happy he can see in darkness. <laughs> I'm gonna stealthily peek around this corner. He's like, hmm, it's bright in here. It's like day. <laughs> it, it is like my vision is so illumin like my view is so illuminated just because of his token. <laughs> I'm gonna light spell either, so it's not like the enemies can exactly see him. He's just he's... I see him. He is. Yeah, I mean just goes out so like it's 120 feet so you're talking like it's a pretty long range like it's so long that you like for some reason it's giving him dim light even though i set it to not give him dim light <laughs> in fact i'll just do this and see if that fixes it there we go that's accurate 
What's as that? A dead, that is a, that's a dead body. But let me give a, we a ridiculously long eyesight. Uh, the tunnel opens into a square room that reeks of... Well, you can't really smell it from here. Well, why not? We'll say you're down, when <laughs> Reeks of decaying flesh. Um, you can see that is a human corpse um, that's been reduced to little more than bloody bone and sinew that's sprawled out on the room. Hey, hey guys, there's more dead people. Quality. Man, I wish I had that silver glade. Can I cleanse the body? Cleanse the body with fire. Yeah, I mean, uh, sacred flame is what sixty feet. You can definitely. Yes. And you'll need to get closer. <laughs> Guys, there's a dead body. Where? Uh. All right. See more dead bodies. I'm. I'm gonna poke one with. Um... With Eldritch Blast. <laughs> with, with two points of radiant damage, this one that's right here in front of me. Yeah, you burned it some more. Doesn't seem to react. I'm going to stealthily take a peek around the corner. Right, take your, Make your stealth check. All right, go ahead and move right there. And I'll go ahead and make my stealth checks. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, no more moving. One second. Uh, Please wait. We have to, we see, have to who see who wins. wins. <laughs> what? My paltry nine or his epic eight. Yeah. Well, your passive beats my epic eight, so squeak, but they're not going to get a surprise round. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'll pull up initiative hey. again, and let me delete these real quick. Do you think that I'll ask... If I can, because I can kind of see, I can see him. Are these like singular rats or they're like swarms? It's big giant rats. Okay, did you get big fuck off rats? The thing that a certain orc barbarian, uh, orc uh, blood hunter was terrified of. Oh, well, I'm not last. Hey, if you're not first, you're last. It's Bobby. <laughs> Okay, let's get this started, because you hear a lot of scuttling as they come out of the walls. Oh, yay. Squeak. Squeak. Weak, man. Weak. S squeak. One, two, three, how far are these? Four, five, six. Squeak. All right, well, only three of them can attack. You're good. Dear, no. You think this is bad? This is just the tutorial level. The real level's over there. All right, the first one's not going to get pack tactics, so we'll just do a regular roll for that. Guess it didn't matter. Take three. And then the rest of these is going to be with advantage because of pack tactics. Well, actually, sorry, one's going to be with pack tactics, the other will not. So we'll do the, the one without. Well, it didn't matter. Take five. And then for the advantage, take four. So a total of 12. Alright. That that hurts a little bit. That a little bit. A bit. Yeah. Amazing what a bunch of little things can do to you. <laughs> Alright, your turn, Zoran. I can't really disengage from the one behind me, can I? Well, the way disengage works is it's an action, and then um, for the rest of your turn, your movement does not provoke. Unless, of course, there's a special rule that says otherwise. So, it's not like Pathfinder. So you can go disengage and move as far as you want. Well, to your movement. <laughs> so, 30 feet. Alright, I'm going to disengage and move to there. Sounds good. That's yeah, you should be good. Plenty. Yeah, you can move diagonal, so yeah, you're fine. Yeah, he'll be able to. Yeah. Yep, you're good to go. Alright. Alright, goes to uh, Oren. That guy there? Yep. Ice me. Okay, go ahead and use it. I'm gonna contra ice. I wanna just uh Okay, you hit so it yeah, the, the, the ten p or it's two piercing damage to the rat. Like, single guy. Right. And then it's ten damage to everyone in five feet of him, plus him. Uh I believe it's a there's a safe for it. Let's 
Because I've used it before. Deck save. Okay, so I believe all of them get the deck save. It's uh, what? Uh, what's the radius? Five feet. Five feet. So it's going to be everyone but the front rat. Okay. Yeah. I'll go ahead and do. Um, uh, what's your yeah, DC? Yeah. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. I will start with the top rat that's around the corner. I mean, it's still five damage. Okay, that one's going to succeed. Bad. Middle one fails. Fails. And succeeds. All right. Uh, look at the spell again, because I believe it negates it completely. Does it have to? You're probably right. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So the two that failed take it ten ice damage, but the two that passed didn't. Okay. Yeah. So the one you stabbed, ex you exploderated with some ice as it shatters. And then the other one, which is this one down here, gets just cuffed, gonna... caked in frost, and falls dead as well. And then I move back. Okay. It's like, go, Biv, your turn. <laughs> Tag out. <laughs> All right, Biv Burton. Laughing with the skull inside of my brain, <laughs> I move forward to stab that rat. <laughs> You hit, it goes splat, and you can keep moving and use your next attack if you like. Okay, and sweet. I'm going to make that other one go, oh, uh, which one? now it goes Which splat. one are you going for, top one or the one to the right? Okay, got it. Go ahead and make your swing. Okay. All right, that is a hit. Um, you whack it, you hear some bones crunch, but it is still hissing and squeaking. All right, I'm going to go ahead and move this body out of the way, and this rat will go ahead and make its attack. They're already in your attack range, so you don't get the uh, reaction. Yeah. Uh, first attack misses. The second one will be with pack tactics. And misses anyway. All right, goes to um, Zeran, who's feeling great right now. Sorry, I'm listening to my roommate flip out. Is it because you got swarmed by rats? <laughs> no, it's because of the cowboy game. <laughs> I'm going to shoot the one above uh, Ben. All right. Congratulations. You've done 100% overkill on that rat <laughs> as it goes splat. I had to make sure. got to make sure. It's the only way to be sure. Nuke from Orit. All right. And goes to Oren. All right. So... Bib didn't take any damage, right? Uh, no, the only person I got nah. mauled was uh, uh, Zarin so far. I'm going to use one of my Balm of Thunder Court D6s on okay. uh, Zarin. Alright, go ahead and roll your 1D6. Recover 1. You feel a slight warmth <laughs> as you... But it is a bonus action, so you still yeah. have your standard action. I checked to make sure I didn't pee myself. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go and smack the rat normally. Okay. This rat is wounded from your ice knife. And it's now dead from your ice knife plus quarter staff combo. Why is it why is your damage so I don't know why it's Yeah, your damage is weird. Oh, I see what you did. Well, no, I did oh, I didn't I right. Yeah. You you put the one D eight damage in there for some reason. Fine. We I accidentally clicked it because it's didn't need to activate it, but I need it in there just in case I wield it with two hands. Yeah, that's fine. Well, if you're if you're gonna wield it with two hands, be sure to add the um the strength to that one d eight as well. So right now it has no modifiers. No, yeah, yeah, I realize yeah. that. But rats are dead. That's fine, I disabled it. So the four. Yeah. No race. Okay. Um, the squeaking, scuttling, and has uh, faded, and there's only just the groan of agony from several deep uh, rat bites. So yeah, there are three human corpses. All of them have been reduced to little more than bloody bone and sinew. I'm going to hit myself for six. Showing me up. All right. Showing off your freaking holy powers. Okay. Go, go poke. What, what do the corpses look like? Uh, look a little more than blood, bloody bone and sinew. And with your investigation, um, you see that there's a symbol cut deeply into the foreheads of, um, uh, sorry, there's a symbol cut, cut into each of their skulls, and yeah, and it's, yeah, it's definitely deep enough for you to notice. 
Did we have we seen this symbol before? Let's see. This is the symbol that you see. As soon as I find it. I'm gonna have to draw it by hand, won't I? That's how this game's gonna be played. Okay, that's what I thought it was. Okay, I'll just draw it on screen. Uh, we'll do that one. So that goes boop. Oh, we'll use we'll use a thicker line. All right, extra large for you guys. Boop, 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 boop. Where are you drawing this? Let's we'll see. Looks like that. So we have seen this symbol before. If you had, you have. So, yeah, try and go with a line in it. Yeah. Yes, we have. There you go. So we saw it in the cave. Yeah. So, uh. The, the altar of hand, or the sigil above the sphere. And I'm just seeing, yep, that's pretty much all you see from the corpses. They've been pretty much, it looks like the rats have been eating these things for a while. Where, where did uh, Orin go? I might have deleted him. <laughs> Let I'm, me end. I'm Vidra. No, 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 I'm here. Don't you mean Vid? Oh, no. <laughs> you guys were hiding. You were doing the totem pole, totem pole strat. <laughs> Stack on top of each other. All right. That is pretty... Okay, guys, so we, we've seen this before with the other necromancer, so something's going on. Yeah, looks like not good. Yeah, yeah, they had food for the rats. As I trip around the <laughs> corner... Paying two pots and pans together. All right, um, the tunnel opens up into a square room. In the center of it, a black rock about a foot across hovers about three feet from the floor. All right, more hovering rocks. Can I ready a spell as a reaction, just in case? Not, uh, if it's an action spell, I think you can. <laughs> but, I mean, that's only if something stumbles upon you, I suppose, <laughs> and you notice it. Well, I'm more worried I'm going to step into the room and see, like, eight more rats. Well, you're already that deep, and you can see there are, this room's pretty clear as far as compared to the other one. Um. All right, what's what's on the stone thingy floating or whatever? Uh, it's just uh, I'm to do this game. And yes, if you're still wondering, I'm still wearing the cloak. <laughs> I, I'm not concerned about that. That's fine. Um, so the rock itself is about um, it's pretty big. It weighs about twenty pounds as you try to like heft it and stuff like that. Um, but it seems to be floating. So it's pretty easy to move around right now. I I check for wires. Uh, you you do the usual magician tricks and uh, seems to be just fine. In one second. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like it though. It adds an air of you know <laughs> to the fight. Yeah. <laughs> it's, like, you, it's like you wake up in the morning. Wait one second. <laughs> you fall down the stairs. All right. Okay. So yeah, you you wave your hand over it and around it. Don't feel any wires or anything like that. Anything carved in the oh, stone? Carved nope, it, it seems to be um, just a regular black stone. Black rock. Okay. Rock. I believe someone else wants to play with the stone. I'd like to stand on top of it, please. Uh, if you, it is how far? It's three feet off the floor, so when you step on it, it gets forced back, pretty much forced to the floor. And when I hop back up, does it just like fling exactly back into place? It slowly lifts back up to about three feet. I, I tie a rope around it and say, I have a pet rock, and start walking away with it. Okay, so you tie a rope around it, and you pull it. You get it to about, we'll say, well, I don't know where you're walking, but we'll say about right there. And then you hear a loud crash as the, the walk, rock that weighs about 20 pounds just hits the ground. Oh. 
I go stand where the rock was and see if I start levitating. <laughs> Uh, you stand in it. Don't really feel anything strange. I like to push the rock back into its original place. Okay. You push it back, and once you let go of it, it floats back up to three feet high. I collect my rope and carry on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is a pretty big map. Jesus. Yeah. All right. You fell in, a, bit, you fell in a big, pretty big hole. <laughs> What, what's the thing of the hallway? Uh, another one of those big, heavy uh, stone slab doors. Can I listen to see what's on the other side of it? No? Bash my head into it? <laughs> <laughs> that all that healing you just got just got undone? Because <laughs> you it's have like, a broken nose? <laughs> it's like I go to listen to the door and instead I pull out a hammer and start knocking on it. Hello? <laughs> I can't seem to hear anything but some hammering. I don't know why. All right, I guess I open the door. All right, one moment. Let's take two steps back. Let's take two steps back. All right. All right, so you open the door. I'll move this out of the way, and I'll give a description. All right, so this 50-foot uh, square chamber is hewn out of rock. Stop moving. <laughs> the floor is 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 uh the floor is rough but flat. The walls show the chisel marks of the original builders. The ceiling is about ten feet high. The identical stone floor doors with the iron pull ring handles uh, stand in other directions that you can't see right now. In the center of the room stands a life size and lifelike statue of a dwarf warrior wearing a chain shirt, helm, and big boots. He's car he carries a shield on his left arm and a battle axe in his right. Um, the statue has clearly been broken into, roughly the head and upper torso, lower torso, torso and legs. These pieces have been reassembled and held together and, and upright in a stout wooden frame. A dagger, along with several coins and gems, lie on the floor in front of the statue, surrounded by a ring of fine gravel. And you also see some other guys that are looking rather rough, ruffian look like as they see you and uh, draw their weapons. I, I wait politely. Hi, boy! <laughs> This is not where I parked my wagon. <laughs> Alright, go ahead and get your initiatives in. I see one person's already got his 20. <laughs> hey, consistency. Yep. Except for against bugs. Apparently <laughs> against bugs, I fail. Bugs and rats. Hey, there goes my other two. Alright, well. Alright, All right, then you go first, uh, Zaren. I have line of sight for spells on this guy. Yeah, you do. I'll yeah, you're fine. Didn't seem to matter. You got thrown off by the awesome the statue that's in the wooden frame, apparently. Uh, Alright, so that's 15 in total. Let me take a look. You're down to, what, one luck point? Or two luck points, because you got a full yes. rest in. Yes, you are All correct. Right, so, okay, it hits, and it was the left one? Yeah, this one down here. Got it. Alright, yeah. So you you had a flashback of like missing horribly, and then you decide to bank it off the uh, the the dwarf statue and bounces right straight into the guy's face for a whopping nine damage. He his nose is broken and he lost a lot of teeth as he spits them out. Uh, do you wish to do any movement bonus actions? I'm gonna stand here. I don't think I have a bonus action ability. Uh, I don't think you do either, but I always ask. All right, goes to the bandits. The bandits. The banditos. Okay. So these guys with scimitars are going to go ahead and move up. Oh, there was more yeah, of them. Yeah, that got close. Wow, this guy uh ugly quick, guys. It was a big room. Can I, can I Oh, yeah, go ahead. One? Yeah, you, I, you have your fancy ability. Go ahead and make your attack. All right, you heavily wound that guy. And he regrets ever coming into your death range. Okay. So, we'll start with uh we'll start with Viv Burton. This guy will go ahead and move there. Yeah, it's fine. All right. So, the one the, the meleeing ones, we'll go ahead and attack Viv Burton. So, first attack Misses, second attack, misses. 
Dear Lord. All right. The one that you smash the face of, it's going to fire a light crossbow at, at Zuran. For nine. <laughs> oh, you want to go ahead and make me reroll that? <laughs> All right. It's still going to be... At least it's, it's not, not a, crit, a crit. So you're down to one luck point, and you take only four. Then the next shot is going to go after Zuran as well. For seven. <laughs> you want to use a luck point? I have to. Right. We don't have to, but... Eight plus... Uh, and your AC is what, 14? Okay, it misses. Yes. And then the other two are going to go after um, Oren. Miss yeah. and oh. miss. Well, if I didn't burn my two luck points, I'd be, be dead right now. But yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, goes to Biff Burton. I'm going to try to finish off the one All that right. stabbed. Oh. Yeah. All yeah. right, you finish them off. Secondary, okay. the other one. Uh... Damn. Yeah, that does hit, just barely. You break his jaw, but he's still alive. All right, goes to uh, Orin. Should I use Entangle? I mean, they're peppering with arrows anyway, but yeah, that one that one stopped them from shooting you. I could ice knife. <laughs> Definitely could. Yep. Yeah. Pretty sure I've okay. that one. Go ahead and take the shot. All right, you definitely hit. And so he's going to take six, period. And, and then the I get to make my deck saves. 13. So 13 decks. I'll start with um, the top one first, deck save. Uh, so 13, so that's a fail. And then the left one. So that guy, I'm going to go left to right. So boom. Boom, boom. So this guy's the only guy that didn't take any damage. The other three are dead. Because he did 12 cold damage. And then, <laughs> and then uh, I'm going to give an, a, a try again and he. Oh, yeah, you're going to use your bonus uh, action. Got it. My yeah. feature. I'll use up your last die, I believe. So get. Yeah. So Aaron, go ahead and get four back. Awesome. Okay. And. You guys hear a door open in this direction. Woo! Yeah! At the end of my turn, I'm actually going to stay here. So we'll do that real quick, and I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm glad I memorized the ice Yeah, knife. the one time I used ice knife, it didn't yeah, actually do... Good. I missed, I believe, is what happened. <laughs> or no, I hit, it did like minimum damage, and everyone made their saves. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh my, my luck with it wasn't as fantastic. Um, all right, I need to put him right there. Okay, so goes to uh, Zoran. I'm gonna hit the one that's standing there. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, which one? The one that's in range, okay. or that one. Gotcha. The one that didn't uh, die. Definitely hit him and break a few of his ribs. And give me one moment. 